Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So today I'm going to be finishing off the Bennett, uh, Bennett hangout event here. And then I am going to be doing the few remaining, uh, Windbloom Festival quests as well. And I might even check out the other quest that's going on too. So let's get started. No, I usually leave straight away. Now, this is where things are a little bit new. Oh, I guess you're such a pro that you don't need to worry about that, huh? Awesome. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Now, I believe I've got to head to that same dungeon that I went to a while back. So, let's go all the way over there. Yeah. The one where I can teleport right to it. Um... So, I just have to remember to choose the right options. Uh, I've got one more option that I have to choose here. So, even if some of the dialogue repeats itself, I'll, uh, just have to be careful to not actually choose the wrong thing. Wait a second. Why does this area feel different? Am I wrong? Huh. Whatever. <sighs> Okay. Wait a second. I'm not gonna talk to you yet. What's up with these doors being open? Okay, that's weird. I don't remember those doors being open when I uh, came here last time. It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> I, for one, am getting a strong sense of treasure in the area. Let's hurry up. Onward. Uh, this is different. It, did Bennett's luck suddenly disappear? Maybe it's the food. Maybe Bennett makes some kind of food that's bad luck or something. Because he was supposed to make food uh, before going here. This room setup seems to be somewhat tricky. The things that stand out are the two mechanisms in front of us. One on the left, and one on the right. But, it seems like there's some sort of danger lurking around the mechanisms. If my years of adventure experience are anything to go by, it would be a disaster if we activated the wrong mechanism. <laughs> How about letting me try it out first? Okay, actually... Uh, hmm, how can I let you face the danger alone? Hmm, I could try it out myself, but what do you think we should do? Let's do it your way. Take one each, activate them simultaneously. Well, that's a possibility. Yeah, let's try it then. I'll take the right side, you take the left. Go stand by the mechanism, and when we're both ready, let's trigger them. Okay, I didn't have to worry. He, they both triggered them without any kind of timing. I was worried cool. there for a second. The door is open. We got it right. Good thing we went with your idea. Huh, you definitely live up to your reputation. And I haven't had this feeling of working together with friends in ages. I've really missed it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the food that he's been making. Anyway, let's move on. Weird that food would have that kind of effect, but then again, it can buff your strength and stuff, so. Uh, okay, this is a little bit different. Uh, talk to Bennett. Oh, so this room has four mechanisms, which means. We need four people. That's what I'm thinking, based on the last room. Hmm. I think we're gonna need four people to trigger all the mechanisms at the same time. Ah, if only the rest of Benny's adventure team were here. What's the deal with Benny's adventure team, anyway? I hate to admit it, but the truth is, it's gone. It remains in name alone. The only reason Catherine hasn't deregistered Benny's adventure team is because she took pity on me. In fact... Ugh. The number of adventurers on the team has been below the registration requirements for a long time already. 
You mean you're the only one left? <laughs> yeah. Royce, Heckler, and Jack were all members of Benny's adventure team. A lot of things went down, but it mostly ended because of my bad luck. I completely understand why they quit the team. I'd never want to put them in danger on my account. <sighs> uh, don't take it personally. Yeah, I felt really let down at first. But I'm pretty much used to it now. It's okay. Even though I'm the only one left on Benny's adventure team, one day, I'm gonna make sure its name is known all over to that. You can do it, Bennett. <laughs> Thank you. Let's focus on the problem at hand. Uh, sorry. The thought of the adventure team got me all sentimental. Now that I think about it more carefully, maybe we're making too many assumptions about the solution to these mechanisms. Uh, you mean the solution may be different from the previous room? Exactly. Okay, I'll take a quick look at these mechanisms while you look around for any other clues. Okay. So, there's several boxes here and stuff. But I'm... There doesn't seem to be anything here. Okay. Just kind of destroy them all. So dusty. Paimon bets no one has been here in a long, long time. Let's see. Not, nothing over here. Hey, that looks like a notebook. Let's grab it and check it out with Bennett, shall we? Okay. Let's talk to Bennett then. An adventurer's notebook? What's it doing here? Maybe it's got some clues on how to crack these mechanisms. Shall we take a look? Oh, it really does have some information about them. Eric can't hold on any longer. We had no choice but to give up. I'll leave this notebook here. Maybe this treasure, treasure is dead, destined for someone else. As you may have noticed, the mechanism installed by the door needs someone operating it constantly. Otherwise, the other mechanism cannot be operated. But there's a catch. The person operating the mechanism by the door takes on an enormous risk. If the other mechanisms are operated in the wrong sequence, that person will face... Dot, dot, dot. One other word of advice. The number of torches does not indicate the sequence of operation. We made that mistake and paid a painful price. Perhaps the order has something to do with the position of torches on the ground? What is the answer? But I... Oh, how I wish I knew. Or how I wish to know, rather. But Eric physically can't take it anymore. Okay. Uh... It seems that the writer is holding something back. Well, since they place their hopes on future adventurers, we can't let them down. The notes say that the mechanism at the entrance needs to be controlled by someone continuously. But if the mechanisms are activated in the wrong sequence, the person in charge of the mechanism at the entrance will... Get hurt or dot 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 die. I'll say get hurt. Yeah, I guess that's what the notes are referring to when they say Eric can't hold on anymore. Anyway, I'll take that role. Uh, who says it's up to you? Or we should at least do rock paper scissors. We should at least do rock. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Getting injured is just part of my daily routine. I'm pretty used to it by now. At the very least. I should be able to last longer than this Eric guy. <laughs> and more importantly, I trust you. You can definitely crack this mechanism puzzle, right? I mean, come on. You're the great adventurer that I've always admired. I don't know. I think you're putting way too much uh, faith in me here, buddy. But okay, then it. All right, all right. Let's just focus on solving these mechanisms. Remember what the notes say. The number of torches is not the hint for the activation sequence. Is not? I thought it said it was. Perhaps. The sequence is related to the position of the torches on the ground. Uh... Well, don't put too much pressure on yourself just because you're afraid I'll get hurt. Uh... Just go with your gut and do it. Uh... Well, I thought that, like, one torch 
means that one, then that, and that one, then that one. Let's just hope that that's... Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. If this is as bad as it gets, I can handle it. Uh, um, uh, okay. Fine, this one. And then two is... This one? I think I get it now. Yeah, I understand how that works. You... you solved it? Yeah, kind of. All thanks to you, Bennett. Uh... Oh! Uh... <laughs> I didn't really do anything. You're the one who nailed this. Let's go and open the chest, shall we? I can't wait! So, basically, the way that works is that this one right here, if you look at the uh, 3x3 grid, this torch right here that indicates one torch, right, indicates this position on all of these square boxes, the 3x3 grid over here. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go for the bottom middle one because of the position of the torch right here. And then you got a bottom middle torch here and an upper middle torch right here with two torches, meaning you're supposed to go for this uh, grid right there. And then this third and final one shows uh, upper right. So you start here and then you go to this one and then this one because of those torches. It's a little bit confusing, but wow. anyways. That was quite a haul. I didn't even get to see what was in it. This must be the proudest moment for any adventurer. Not only getting the chest, but having this golden opportunity to join you on an adventure. For me, that's a pretty major treasure already. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. Really? Then I'm honored. <laughs> but there's one other thing that I find the most amazing of all. The fact that nothing really bad happened to us this whole adventure. This is the first time in my whole adventure career that it's ever turned out this way. Uh, this is just one of many possible outcomes. Uh, yeah, this is just one of many possible outcomes. That sounds very deep. But I think I get what you're saying. You're saying that no matter how unlucky I might be, there'll always be times when luck is on my side, right? Yeah, this is a really big thing for me. Or, you know, don't cook food anymore. And you know, I have a feeling that it was your kindness and goodwill towards me that helped me avoid a lot of bad luck. Even find a little good luck. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say that out loud, but all in all, thank you for everything. I hope I get to go on another adventure with you soon. Okay, and that's it. Fortunate outcome. Perhaps it was your goodwill that allowed you to snatch hold of some good luck amid all that misfortune. Huh. Okay. So that should be the end of Bennett's uh, hangout event. That was uh, interesting. I believe that's the end of all of them, too. At least all the ones that they currently have available. If they have another one, then I don't know where it is or how to get it. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Plan not completed. Hangout six memories. What are you talking about? Hangout six memories. Oh. Oh, there was a second path there. Okay. That was Maybe it's one where I fail? Go ahead. We won't get anywhere just staring at them. <laughs> Leave it to me. Uh, but as you know, I really don't have any luck. So I'll leave it to you to decide which of these two mechanisms we should trigger. The one on the left. That's the one I was thinking of too. Let's see. Clicking sounds. What was that noise? Oh no. It looks like all the exits are blocked. 
Guess I still managed to get the wrong one. This... this is really bad. And there we go. That finally wraps everything up. Uh, no wonder it's a top uh, class commission. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't get the chance to read any of that. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to go and finish off those other quests as, as now the Windbloom Festival quests. Oh boy. All of this stuff. It's been quite a while since I started doing all this stuff. Let me see. Uh, claim that finally. I'm glad that I noticed that. I was, like, confused as to why it said I only had six of the, uh, endings. Let's see. Check out this as well, just to make sure. So each of them had six endings, I guess? Which is interesting, because I could have swore one of them only had five. Maybe it was Barbara's that only had five? Yeah, Barbara's is the one that only has five. Okay. Now that I've done that, let's, uh, let's start with talking to Iris, wherever she's at. All the way over here, yeah, that's what I thought. Wants me to talk to her at the camp near Dragon's Mine. So now it's just three normal quests and then whatever event that they've got going on around right now. Okay, Iris. Hmm? Is something the matter? Did you come here to see the sights, or did that voice Iris send you here on some uh, some commission? Well, whatever your reason for being here may be, stay on your guard at all times. So about your commission? Saw my commission and came running, did you? Well, I do have something that I need your help with. Specifically, I'd like you to take pictures of two places on Dragon Spine. I'll mark the exact locations for you on your map. As for compensation, I'll make sure you're paid as per the Adventure Guild's rules. How about it? Will you take on the commission? Uh, why do you need to take pictures in these two spots? Well, this has to do with Cyrus, ultimately. He asked me previously to get him some of Dragon's Spine specialties. He said he wanted to use them as part of a recruitment drive during the Windbloom Festival. Well, now the festival, the now is the festival period, but he hasn't contacted me at all. Must be busy, I suppose. Now that I mention it, he is at that age, isn't he? He should be busy with the festival. I think he might be way too old for that by now. Really? I don't really get that feeling. In fact, hmm, never mind. Let's not get into that right now. So far, I've collected some ores and put together some topographical charts and monster reports. I'd like some photos of scenic uh, spots and dragon spine to go with them. So, Traveler, would you mind helping me go up dragon spine to take pictures of those two spots? You can count on me. Great, I'll leave it in your hands then. I've marked the two places on your map. Just head there and come back when you're done. Not going to the city to see how things are going? It's all a little too much for me. I personally prefer how things are here. I've got a lot on my plate to boot, so I doubt I can go at the moment. I've marked the most scenic spots on your map. Just head there and come back once you're done. Okay. In that case, uh, do I have the camera equipped already? Yeah, I have a camera equipped. I don't know which one it is, but let's go all the way up here then to this point. I hope that this isn't too much of a pain. I always, I, I hate camera missions in this game. I don't know what it is about them, but they bother me. Uh, let's see. Looks like we can see this tree really well from here. Let's take a picture. 
Okay. But it has been saved to your device. That wasn't the right thing to do. Of course it wasn't. At least now I know I've got to do it with this camera, which is dumb. Take photo. Is that what you want me to do, game? Okay. That's the reason why I don't like it. It's because I always feel like I'm not sure of uh, whether or not I actually got the photo it wanted me to get. Now that I've done that, uh, we can see the statue of seven from here. Let's take a picture around here. Okay, take a photo. And I don't even have to save it. Okay. Now let's go all the way back to Iris. That wasn't too hard. It's the fact that I don't know if you have to use the gadget camera or if I'm supposed to use the built-in camera, like the camera that they gave you at the start of the game. I guess that they wouldn't require you to use the gadget camera, though, at this point in time. Since some people may not have them. Hmm? Is something the matter? Did you come here? Oh. So about your commission. Oh, you're done already? Sure am. Thanks for your hard work. I've got the package I intended to send to that boy ready as well. Would you mind delivering it to him? I'll have your payment ready once you're done, so do remember to come back here. I'm not sure if this will be enough for him to use, but if he's recruiting monster records, an ore should be the biggest punch. I don't remember taking any kind of pictures that were really all that... Hmm. Uh, let's go right here. Whatever. I, I'm a little bit confused as to why I took those pictures. Because she was talking about taking and giving him information on the other things, you know, ores and whatnot, but whatever. And those had definitely had nothing to do with that. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was something I missed. That's very, very possible. Sometimes it's a little bit of a blur. Ah, this recruitment drive doesn't look, lo look like it'll be any good at all. Special delivery from Iris. Oh, she sent me something? Right, that's right. I did ask her before, but I wound up forgetting. What happened to enjoying the Windbloom Festival? The Windbloom Festival? No, I haven't had any time for that. Our previous recruitment program is obsolete. I'm busy coming up with a new one. Let me see what Iris sent me. Ores? No, that's no use. Young people these days couldn't be bothered with this stuff. Maps? Ah, so it'll be useful to guild members, alright. But I don't think it's any good for recruitment. Notes concerning monsters? Well, we should make some extra copies for our adventures, but forget it, uh, using it to attract new people. Uh huh. What's this? These two photos are pretty good. Beautiful scenery, and it looks safe, too. Ah, this'll catch someone's eye, that's for sure. How are you picking this? Looks like he's throwing out the ones actually related to adventuring. Ah, you don't understand the state of the guild the guilds in. Nowadays, young people aren't interested in things like monsters, ores, and topographical maps anymore. If you want to get modern youngsters' attention, you need to give them something they can use. It's the Windbloom Festival now, see? And these young folks are definitely spoiling for all unique. Spoiling for all sorts of unique, huh? Not, but not necessarily dangerous ways of displaying their charm. Adventuring in Dragon Spine is one such thing they can do. If the photos interest them, they might come to the guild and task about them, and then they might join the guild. And even if they don't join, well, some extra commissions would be nice. What's more, if you look at these two drawings, they are both positioned next to the main road. As long as you're careful, you shouldn't be in any danger. 
Well, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel, aren't we? Uh, well, this is how things are. I wouldn't do... Uh, I wouldn't do this if we had any other ideas we could use. If you don't believe me, why don't you take these two photos and show them to some people? First, tell them that we're recruiting, and then show these two photos as recruitment material. You'll see why I'd come up with this idea in no time at all. Wait, I really have to do this? I'm kind of surprised, but okay. Cyrus said they liked something. Paimon remembers there were lots of people around the Animal Archon statue. Uh, I wish that they would give you a chance to actually either read it or at least have Paimon say it. Like, with her voice. Whatever. Speak to the citizens around the Animal Archon statue. This one, uh, this quest is a little bit longer than the other quests, that's for sure. Some of the other ones have been a lot faster. Six-fingered Jose, huh? Hey there, Mio. Would you like to hear my latest composition? About the Adventures Guild recruitment. Adventures Guild recruitment? Lo siento, I'm not interested in such things. I apologize if I uh, butchered that, by the way, because I've never actually said that word before. Running around like a headless chicken is of no use to a bard. Uh, besides, in the city of Montat, surely the Knights of Favonius can constitute better source material for composing an epic. Uh, lo siento, I'm not interested in, uh, adventure skilled recruitment. Rescuing cats isn't a great, uh, isn't great songwriting material. Here's the recruitment material. Is this dragon spine? Uh, I, I can't say that, sorry. Perhaps a, sight of sight, uh, a spot of sightseeing would give me new flourishes of inspiration. And if it doesn't look too dangerous... Hmm, I'll pass by the guild later and have a word. Even if I don't sign up, I'm sure I could hire an adventurer to escort, escort me. A tour of dragon spine, I can hardly wait. Okay. Let's go over to the next one now, where, wherever that person may be. Okay, she's right here. Oh, how, uh, can I help you? I was just about to start a tune. About the Adventures Guild recruitment. Oh, that? I did see a notice, but it doesn't interest me. I can protect Mondstadt with my song. I don't need to become an adventurer. I heard that the majority of commissions are odd jobs. I don't see how it would benefit me. Sorry, I will politely decline, but thank you for thinking of me. Here's the recruitment material. Huh? That looks like Dragon Spine. A statue of the Seven surrounded by stone. Such a striking image. So this this must be quite an out. Uh, so this must be at quite an altitude. People say that they can see for miles around up there. I bet my voice could carry over much further distances. I'll go and ask the guild a little later. I'm sure I saw something about adventures for hire. I had no idea, had no idea that adventurers went to such places. Fascinating. Okay. Um. Let's go over here now. Woo! Now that I'm done with, I'm pretty sure that I've got only to talk to him. And they go back and talk to the one lady at Dragon Spine, and this, this quest will be done. How did it go? Did you manage to gauge how everyone feels? I did. The Traveler tells Cyrus what everyone thinks of the Adventurer's Guild. Then you see what I mean. That's the way things are. I've gotten used to it by now. Uh, I don't care how we do it, but so long as we find a method that brings results, I'll thank the Archon. I guess you'll be heading back to Dragon, Dragon Spine to report in with Iris. Do me a favor and deliver this letter to her. She'll definitely want to know about the situation of late here at the guild. Thank you. Huh. I hope we get some new recruits this time. But will the type of person who responds to this kind of marketing tactic be reliable and venture material? Huh. That is a question that I had too. 
seems like you're aiming for the wrong type of person, but then again, if they're determined enough to do whatever it is that they want to do, then in this case, the uh, one lady who wants to go up there to sing, then maybe they might be willing to uh, learn or whatever. Anyways. And by learn, I mean learn how to be an adventure. Uh, okay. You're back. What took you so long? I bet Cyrus got you to run some extra errands. I helped him make a few inquiries. Just what is that boy up to now? Oh, a letter? This letter talks about the recent state of the guild. Huh. Doesn't feel like a short read. Seems like uh, he has been busy after all, even during the Windbloom Festival. Still, if he's working so hard, it's about time the Monset Adventurers Guild recruited some new members. Once we have enough recruits, he should be able to delegate the smaller ma matters to others and come adventuring with me again. Uh, that would be nice. I'll give this a good read, but as, as seeing as Cyrus added to your workload, I'd be remiss if I didn't factor in an extra payment. Here you go. Thanks for your hard work. Okay. I want to check out if I, uh, have enough. No, I don't. I was going to see if I had enough, uh, primal gems for a wish, but obviously I did. Okay. Now I've got to go talk to Saeed. In Mondstadt. I wonder if I should, uh, talk to anybody else in Mondstadt that I'm supposed to talk to. Let me see this very fast. I selected the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Talk to Victor. And he's also in Mondstadt. So if this sends me outside of Mondstadt, I'll talk to Victor uh, to start the other quest as well. Let's see. Ah, crap. I, I, I should go talk to Victor first. He's all the way up there. Of course he is. Ah, uh, great. Ah. Is it inside the church? Game, you're messing with me now. I'll go talk to him first anyways. Then I'll do the other quest. Uh, I don't know why they insist on putting them inside buildings. It's like, you don't have to put them inside of the buildings. I understand that you want people to explore the inside of the buildings. Nobody cares. I doubt most people even go into these buildings unless they have to. Mister, are you Fatui not uh, are you Fatui not celebrating the we the weed plume festival? I uh probably won't. And what do you have to? Who me? Oh, it's you. Come on, why are you giving me that look of suspicion again? I was just talking to that kid. I wasn't going to do anything bad. Seems like you Fatui really don't celebrate the wind plume festival. Wait, what about you? Are you not going to enjoy the Weed Plume Festival either? Well, I'm not sure that Monset's Honorary Knight has a great many duties to attend to during the Wind Plume Festival, isn't that? Or, I'm sure that the Monset's Honorary Knight has many great duties to attend to during the Wind Plume Festival. Isn't that right? <laughs> well, does someone look smart again? <clears throat> Nothing, nothing. And speaking of nothing, if you haven't got anything else to do, why don't you do me a quick favor? This kid's parents have gone out shopping amid the festival, so she's been left here in the care of the sisters. But as you know, everyone's got their own fair share of business to attend to because of the festivities, even the sisters. They've got no time to play with the girl. And that's how she latched on to me. But as you must uh, also surely know, I can't... I can't simply leave the cathedral, so the only thing I can do is talk to her. What a shame that even 
in this that even in this I must withstand the stares of that sister over there. I'll wait you that she's singing. Oh, I wonder what that evil Fatui schemer has in his mind at this time, or something like that. Huh. So, to get that sister off my back and for the psycho psychological well-being of this child, might our glorious, righteous, honorary night Dana take this child out to play? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I got your point. Oh, oh how very straightforward. But then again... You're the honorary knight. How silly of me to think that you might quibble with me, uh, quibble with me for some remuneration. Come on, just take the kid and go. I'll be, I'll just be over here, getting a hole drilled into the back of my skull by these sisters. Huh. When will these days finally come to an end? Okay, I've got to talk to Lily now. Why can't that Mr. Fatui... Uh, go to, to the Weed Plume Festival. He's got important work to do. Impotent work? Even more impotent than the Weed Plume, Plume Festival? But even if that Fatui's done a lot of bad, bad things, he can become a good person again if he changes, right? I'm going to tell him that if he becomes a good person, he can take part in the Weed Plume Festival. That man's really busy right now. Let's go out and play first, all right? Oh, okay. Can you take me out to play then? Sure can, just not too far out, all right? Yay, let's go, let's go. Ah. Uh, anyways, I just don't think that forcing a, per a person to repeatedly go inside these buildings is a smart decision when they should have been strictly related to story events as opposed to these side quests. I mean, if there was something more interesting to do in them, but the problem is, is that you're just going in them to talk to one character, then you're going right back out. That's not a very smart way of designing the game. At least in my opinion. Okay. I'm getting a little bit, uh nasally here because my sinuses. Uh, I'm actually gonna go start up this quest in here as well. Let's see. Since I'm already here anyways and it's forcing me to go into another building. Ah, oh boy. If you can't tell, I'm not terribly impressed. I'm actually almost at the point where I think I should stop, but, uh, where are you? Okay, there you are, Saeed. What a romantic tradition. Now this is worth researching. What are you doing? Oh, it's you, Traveler. Have you come to the library due to your interest in Monsat's romantic songs as well? Still, words on a page can be read any time, but the history that happens all around us will slip by in, in but an instant. The people of Modset have many special rituals during this cozy, romantic time known as the Windbloom Festival. What form do these traditions take, and what sort of history behind them? These are, are both most promising research angles. Ah, my, my sinus is black. I'm currently writing a research report, and I believe that descriptions alone will not suffice. Could you help me take some pictures of the sites around the Windmill Festival? Sure. Thanks for helping my research. I will certainly cite you in my acknowledgments. All of the following deserve to be recorded. The floral decorations in the fountain plaza, the animal archive statue adorned with flowers in front of the cathedral, and the flower shop owner, hard at work. Please help me take pictures of these sites and pass these photos to me afterward. Good job, yeah. Okay. I actually think that I'm going to wrap things up here. My sinuses are really messed up. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And when I play uh, again... I'm gonna 
finish off these two quests here. I thought I was going to be able to do it in this video, but obviously that wasn't the case. Uh, I don't know how long the next video will be because uh, once I finish off these two quests here, then I'm going to go in, over here and do this, and I don't know what this is. So it's something related to uh, this thing right here, Contending Tides. So yeah, thanks again. See you next time. Bye-bye.